Hi, I'm Kelly Johnston with the University of Calgary, and I'm here with Aileen Attila with our Faculty of Veterinary Medicine to talk about flat-faced dogs. Now, maybe walk me through the different facial styles of dogs. So there's kind of the longer-faced dogs. Then there's kind of the medium-faced dogs. So think of a Rottweiler or Labrador. And then there's the shorter-faced dogs, Shih Tzus, French Bulldogs, English Bulldogs, Pugs. They tend to have longer lower jaws than upper jaws, so sometimes their lower teeth will stick out a little bit. Um, but their noses tend to, to be really, really short compared to any of those other dog breeds I mentioned. What are some of the challenges a short-faced dog can experience? If you think of all the tissues that a longer-faced dog has in their nose, all of that tissue kind of gets squished into a smaller space. It does cause increased resistance to breathing, and so that can over time cause issues just because of how hard they're breathing. Also, if they have kind of a really long soft palate that's hanging into their airway, it can cause a physical obstruction to their breathing. So surgery can help to fix some of the kind of soft tissue parts of it, especially the elongated soft palate. That can get shortened um, and that helps to alleviate a lot of um, their breathing problems that they have. Should I be worried about getting a dog like this? I don't think you should be worried about it. I think you should be well informed. Know what you're getting into. Know that they can have medical issues and those can be expensive and I think that's something to know about no matter what breed you get but they're faithful family companions and it's just something to know about. Thanks Aylin. Check out our website to find out more about the research we're doing into human and animal health.